Assalamu alaikum. May peace be with you. Welcome to my video, guys. Uh, this video is going to be short one. Uh, I was trying to set up my SD WAN lab, so I come across a few issues that I just wanted to share with you guys. If you are setting up your lab the very first time into Eve, or if you don't know how to set up or add images uh, into Eve, so this video is really going to help you. So you can see here, I have already uh, added a few of my uh, vManage, vBound, my vHs into uh, my one of the lab. And uh, these all are up and running. So I'm just gonna now show you this uh, from the very beginning, how to you can add these uh, devices into your uh, vNet lab. So for this, uh, first of all, you need uh, the images for each of the devices for vManage, your vEdges, and vSmart. And uh, there are many places on the Google. You can Google and find these images. Or if you have the very best place, this is the Cisco itself. If you have Cisco account, then you can go to Cisco account and download these images. They're similar to the folder. So I have an account. I've already logged into my account, so I can. I'm just going to go to my SD1 portal and then go to vManage or vSmart, depending what I'm going to download or my Edge. So let's start with the vManage and go and select. So I have already installed my 20.6.5 version. So I'm just going to show you how, um, how to install this again, and I'm going to choose this time. 20.9.4 version and the file you need for EAVNG is uh, QCOW, the KVM file and if you are going to do if you are trying to do this on v, VMware then you need the OVA file so let's download this um, so it will ask you to accept license if you just select this accept license it it will start downloading. I have already downloaded, which is in my folder. Uh, we're gonna use this that one, and this is the vManage. Now, if you wanna download vSmart, so this is you can select the vSmart, same QCow, click download, it will download. Okay, let's uh, download, accept, and it will appear downloading here. And uh, let's go to our V Edge. V Edges. Here as well. So the same V Edge and V Bond both will be used as uh, the same uh, image you can use. So we can download this. I think uh, probably I have already downloaded this. Yeah. So I'm going to use that. <laughs> okay, so once you have the images, then you go back to your Eve. And I just want to show you if you add Node. Well, so very first time, if you have are doing this very first time, then you will not see these any of these folders here. Right? So, and uh, this is going to appear once you add these images into your Eve image directory. So to upload these into the image directory, you need WinSCP. Okay, let's go to our WinSCP. And then you need to log in to your Eve. So you can click it, new tab. And see, I have already my Eve. You can click here, new site, give the IP address, the same IP address you are you, using to log into your lab so IP address and then username is going to root and then password to log in it will once you log in you log in into your root you need to select the opt folder navigate to opt folder then it's going to image lab then from unit lab we are going to add-ons and then came in so this is the folder where uh, peanut lab is or evng 
keeps all its images. You can see over here, I have already the ones I've added previously, 20.6. So, so these all are the images I have already added. Now I'm going to add uh, 20.9.41 for my vManage. So first of all, we need to create the folder. Create a directory and directory has to be the exact the same name. Otherwise it will not work and it will not appear in your list of uh, uh, the nodes. So it has to be exactly the same name, VT mgmt then hyphen the version then you just keep the version two point in my case is nine point four one but nine point four right so that's it and then we create for our edge and v smart two you can see already there are, are the other folders, but you need to create the separate folder. Each and each version has to has its own folder. Create a new one. So this time it's going to be VT smart V VT smart. Mm, yes, VT smart. It's not ST. VT smart. Okay, let's say ST, VTST, rather than a VT, I'm just doing ST, doing a mistake, a deliberate mistake, to just to show you what happens if we do a mistake or do not put the name right. Then 20.9.4, that's my vSmart, and now create another folder for my VEdge. is going to be VT edge then 20.9.4 right so these folders are ready let's go into my V edge and then drag and drop our V edge image into this folder while this is uploading, let's go to our vSmart and then drag and drop vSmart image. And then similarly, vManage. Let's go to our vManage and drag and drop our folder, our image into this folder. So it's going to take a few minutes. Let's wait. All right, guys, this is nearly done. All the images, they are uploaded. Now, the, the second thing that we need to do, we can see this name is not right. We need to change this name to exactly the same that we have for other. Look at this. This is for virtual IOA, QCOW. So it's V-I-R-T-I-O-A, QCOW. So go and rename right click rename V I O T I O QCAL V I O T I O A yes then we manage V I O T I O A right now we need to go to our edge, rename this to okay so this is the one we done a mistake so rename Right, so uploading uh, part is done. And for this, to get it work, we need to go and first uh, fix the permissions. We can do this from the CLI, like SSH to the e EVO or Peanut Lab itself. Uh, but uh, for Peanut Lab, they have given a good option. In uh, using the GUI, you can go and 
change this. We go to system, system settings, and then fix permissions. That's it, all done. Go back to our lab. Now, once the permission is done, we can go to our node. And then once you are done it right, all those names, so all these devices will appear here. So let's go over vManage. And you can see it's already selected the latest one. This is the one we have just added in. Let's select this, add this in. Right, then let's add our vSmart. And because we have done something wrong, then didn't put the name right for the directory, you can see this not appearing here. The version that we are newly added, it's not appearing here. So that's why it's important that you put it exactly the, the name where it is. And uh, let's add the vEdge. Edge. So you can see the latest is already selected. This is 21.9 we added, right? So let's fix our vSmart folder. Go back to our Venus CP. Go back to our vSmart and then rename it to vSmart rather than as smart. Super smart. Okay. We need to do the fix permission thingy again. All right, so let's go back to our lab. Now try adding our vSmart. There you go. So we have our the correct new version. Let's add that in. So we have our vSmart, the new version that we have added. And let's add our Edge as well. Okay, one, one last thing that uh, for, uh, just for vManage we need to do, we need to add uh, a, a new hard drive a new drive into vManage folder. So this is the second thing. We just for vManage, we need to do it. vManage need this drive, an extra additional hard drive for its uh, database and you know internal working. So we how we do this? Let's go back to our uh, putty session, uh, super putty. So, so this is, uh, I'm using SuperPuddy for SSH to all of my devices and EVE. And if you want to learn how to set up a SuperPuddy with EVE, you can sh watch my video. So we need root, and then password. Once you are in the CLI, you need to navigate to that folder where this image is, and we can check the path is opt unit lab add-on and then qma let's keep this in front and navigate to our folder change directory pt then unit lab add-on qma and then vmanage mg we okay, let's uh, add this list right so we need to add go to folder v d m gmt then nine the new version that we had if we look at this so this is the the file that we image file that we have just added in so this is we have named it to as the the hard drive the drive name so similar drive we need to add another one so the one we have is hard drive a and then 
the hard drive B we can add. We need to add this hard drive B with a command uh, we need to use. And uh, that command is we need to give the full path because if I use that command straight away here, it, it will not work. So we need to give the full path opt where this command lives, QMA, then bin, and then QMA. Uh, IMG create iPhone F then the type of the drive to and then the name of the drive B dot the type of Google Domain two and then the size hundred G. Right, so this is created. If we do ls, so that's all. That's all we need. If we exit from here, exit, then go back to our directory. Not the directory. We need to go back to our lab, and then again we need to fix once more the permission types. Let's go back to the. All right, so that's it. So this is how you add uh, these images. Let's run them to make sure that uh, they are running fine. So that's it, guys. Uh, if you like video, please like and share. Let's check the CLI if it's running. There you go. It's booting up nicely this is our we manage it's we smart we smart is coming up let's click on we manage uh, we edge So they takes a bit while to boot up. So let them run, give them a while. Don't do anything. Or if just just in case, if it doesn't come up, all you need to do is just stop and then wipe. Let it stop. wipe yes and then once again try a bit few times if it isn't then try running that again it will actually normally re resolves any issue that it has all right guys thank you very much for watching take care bye